So the big news that happened today or yesterday by the time you get this video is that ESPN fired RG3. Now they did that because they're trying to recoup some of the money that they're about to pay Jason Kelsey. Uh, they're going to pay him a belt boatload of money and they're going to get the views for it. Don't get it twisted. But RG3 was good at his job. He was surprisingly good. And I think a lot of people didn't expect that. But uh, Jason Kelsey is the hot ticket right now. And if somebody can get him, it was you knew he was going to be on the telecast. You just knew it. Uh, RG3 and Sam uh, Samantha Ponder were both let go by ESPN. Both of them did a very good job. There was no reason for both of them to get fired, but this was a cost-cutting move, and ESPN had to do what they had to do. A little bit different from last year with Ryan Clark. Ryan Clark wanted a better contract, um, and I, again, they just underestimated how good Ryan Clark was because a lot of people liked him. A lot of people liked his takes and his opinions on things, and I think RG3 is very similar in that regard, but... He still got two years on his contract. So whatever that settlement was, I am sure he got paid for the last two years of that contract. I don't know what Sam Ponder's situation was, um, but RG3 had two years left. So if he's under contract, they had to pay up. They had to pay up or they had some type of settlement, which I'm sure he was good with. So he ain't really losing no sleep. And he already said um, he was responding on social media with uh, his his Twitter response was classic. He got a piece of uh, from Friday when when Pops was telling Ice Cube like how you get fired on your day off. Perfect response, perfect me. How you get fired on your day off? I think he might still be in Paris. So. He handled it perfectly. Yeah, ESPN has fired football analyst Robert Griffin III and host Samantha Ponder. Uh, Griffin, a former NFL quarterback, Heisman Trophy winner at Baylor, was hired by the network in 2021 as a college football and NFL analyst. Griffin joined Monday Night Countdown in the 2022 season and appeared on the network's various shows. According to The Athletic, he had two years remaining on his contract and the report stated that Griffin's seven-figure salary would be honored. So they are going to pay him his money. This offseason, he was replaced by Monday Night Countdown. Uh, he was replaced on Monday Night Countdown by former Philadelphia Eagle Jason Kelsey. Jason Kelsey is the hot hand. Kelsey is the hot hand. He's everywhere. He was over everywhere in the Olympics. All that type of stuff. But you know what? RG3 was like no hard feelings. And they're going to pay him his money. So he in good shape. And what did he say do? Don't worry about me. I'm good. Y'all do me a favor. Um, Y'all go check out my podcast and subscribe. That's where I'll be. So you know what he's doing? He's following Stephen A. Smith. He's following Shannon Sharp, Gilbert Arenas, and everybody else. All the, the athletes got their podcast. And he's doing all right because he already at 20 as of today. At 12.44 a.m. on the 16th, he's got 122,000 subscribers. And I'm saying that out loud because I want to see how quickly he goes up to the next level. Because some of his stuff was cringe. He's a little on the corny side. His skills are good. He knows what he's talking about. He knows the game. And he's a good analyst. Not for nothing. People like watching him. So as of today, August 16th, he's got 122,000 subs. I want to see how fast he gets to 150, how, how fast he gets to 200. Is he going to shoot up the, the charts like Shannon Sharp did? I doubt he'll do it that quickly, but he's probably going to grow because he, he puts out good content. He puts out good content. So um, he ain't losing no sleep because they paying him his contract. And that was a million dollar deal. They said it was seven figure deal. So he got paid a good amount of money. Again, I'm not quite sure what Sam Ponder's uh, financial situation was, what her contract was. But if she 
had years on her contract. I don't see why they wouldn't pay her out too. She'll get picked up somewhere else or she'll have another podcast because the one good thing about podcasting, and I can speak from experience from what I'm doing on my little small channel, you don't have nobody looking over you. You can say what you want to say, how you want to say it, whatever the consequences are, the consequences are, but that's your channel. You deal with it how you want to. That's why they so mad at Stephen A. That's why they so mad at Gilbert Arenas. Shannon Sharp, Unc and Ocho, all of that kind of stuff. Can't nobody tell them what they can and can't say. Colin Cowherd's doing it now. Skip Bayless trying to do it, but it ain't gonna work. So he's in a good spot. He's got a little bit more freedom. He is still gonna be commenting on the NFL this year. And I would imagine that people, there's probably gonna be some people that don't like Kelsey. Whenever you get somebody that's uber popular like that, you will always have a contingency of people that will find a reason not to like him. I'm sure there'll be people that just, he, he played for Philly, so I'll hate him. There are going to be people like that. But RG3 is going to be fine. And I'm very interested to see how quickly his uh, YouTube channel goes on the rise.